Right, if we can have your attention in the media center, we've got a, uh, an opportunity for you all to do some catching up with uh, a gentleman that we're looking very forward to having in the NASCAR Nationwide Series next year, Travis Pastrana, who will eventually drive the number 99 Boost Mobile Toyota for Pastrana Waltrip Racing, and obviously Travis, some sidetracking as far as things happen for you uh, earlier this summer um, with a uh, little injury that you suffered, more than a little, obviously that you suffered uh, during one of your stunts prior to trying to drive with us at ORP. Let's talk about first how are you feeling, how are you doing, and then I'm sure there'll be some questions about what your plans may be as we proceed going into uh, recovery and next year. Yeah, definitely. I uh, was really excited to come out here to Dover. It's uh, kind of my like hometown track, and uh, first time I really got to see it you know, up close. Uh, so... You know, just definitely disappointed not to be out there driving uh, for sure. But uh, Boost is uh, jumping on again for, for next year. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to do the races this year, but they're um, on for the same amount of races for next year. So um, you're not given the, given the equivalency on um, the NASCAR to you know, start out Daytona. is you know, definitely a disappointment. Um, we won't be able to run the, the entire Nationwide Series, but um, you know, basically looking, uh, looking to see how many we can do. I'm trying to, get, trying to run as many Nationwide, as many K&N, as many any kind of car races as I can just to get as, uh, you know, get as much experience as I can um, you know, driving. Still, uh, you know, haven't really finalized all the all the deals for next year. So, you know, definitely uh, hoping to get uh, get more than than less, I guess. <laughs> At this point, how's uh, how's recovery going for you? Uh, right now, recovery's been going. Uh, I mean, slow, but <laughs> but really good, I guess. So, get the pins out on Monday, which is uh, always nice. So, hopefully, uh, all the pins come out and start getting in the pool. Um, be able to get down the shop a little bit more, and you know, really. Uh, I drive the iRacing simulator and do do whatever I can to you know try to get back uh, back driving cars as quick as possible. You have questions for Travis. We've got the uh, wireless mics for you, and um, we'll bring them to you. Please give us your name and affiliation before you ask. Any questions for Travis Pastrana? Bob Pachris. Uh, Bob Pachris, Scene Daily. Is the goal about twenty races, which is kind of what you were looking at before the injury for next year? Yeah, the the goal's uh, definitely the same to race as, as much as possible. Um, you just have to work out work out sponsorship for you know after the first couple, and you know hopefully those races will go well, and uh, it'll uh, we'll be able to race you know more than twenty. But uh, you know if not, uh, definitely looking forward to running as much of the K and N series as as possible. Um, you know, haven't really had anything finalized yet, but my goal is just to get in as many cars as possible. Jeff Gluck from SBNation.com. I mean. Aside from the physically re physical recovery, mentally um, it had to be so disappointing what you went through and, and all the buildup and everything. I mean, are you are you over it, or it, you know, does the disappointment still linger? Definitely sitting uh, sitting on the sidelines here and not not racing <laughs> every time I watch a race, the disappointment is, is definitely there. But you know, on a on a positive note, I mean. You know, it's it's a small positive, but you know, I've been able to watch all the races. I've been able to watch all the drivers. I actually know, you know, a lot more about who runs up front. Um, you know, who runs uh, aggressive, who doesn't. Um, which drivers tend to stay up there at the end? Which drivers uh, tend to qualify well? So, um, it, it's been a great learning experience. But I would have much rather been learning on the cr on the track, of course. Dustin Long, Landmark Newspapers. Uh, Travis, the plan still is to make the nationwide debut at Phoenix next year, the second race. Are you looking at doing any kind of ARCA for Daytona? I know since you can't run any of the NASCAR stuff at Daytona, are you looking to do something there? Um, as of right now, I um, have not looked at anything doing, doing anything at Daytona, but um, I definitely, you know, we're talking to Ty, and you know, really, as soon as I get these pins out, I'm going to spend a lot more time at the race shop and you know, just really figure out what we need to do to, to get this program as you know, as up to speed as quickly as possible. You're still thinking about being able to be in the car in December for testing, is that correct? Uh, yeah, that is correct. Um, you know, doctors say hopefully I'll be walking in about a month, and I figure as soon as I can walk, I can drive, so <laughs> put me in, coach. Jim Hunter, Show Observer. Travis, uh, obviously this is not your first injury of your career, but um, has what's taken place over the last couple of months curbed your enthusiasm at all about doing all the sorts of fun and crazy things that you like to do? 
Well, definitely. And to, to be perfectly honest, that was supposed to be my exit from X Games. Uh, not exactly the the exit I was I was looking for, but uh, but it, it was still an exit. And you know, for me, you know, we still we just finished uh, filming Nitro Circus 3D movie, which uh, Walter Bracing had actually helped us with a lot of the projects that we did along the way. Uh, kept us all as uh, more more safe than we would have done it on our own for sure with uh, building some of the stuff. But uh, you know, for me, that as soon as that like that movie's done filming. I have to do a little bit of press for that, um, you know, starting next year when before it comes out in theaters. Uh, but other than that, I mean, my action sports—not to say my action sports career is done—but um, as far as anything, taking risks, um, I'm definitely going to be in this car and trying to do the best that I can, put my best foot forward. You know, it was the most disappointing thing in my life to not only have myself, but to have an entire team that was waiting for me and you know, banking on me, you know, being in the car and you know, all those guys I'm seeing around the track—they're all in, on different teams, and it's you know, it's. It's tough because we not only we lose some of the the top guys, um, you know, but a lot of a lot of friends, um, you know, had to had to find other work. So um, definitely something that uh, that took to heart and something that I don't want to ever happen again. Mary W. Cannon, Speedway Media. Can you talk a little bit about what your rehab process will entail? Uh, yeah, just basically trying to get the the motion back and the strength back in that ankle. Um, you know, I, like I said, I get the pins out on Monday, and I, I figure as soon as as soon as I can get in that pool. Uh, the better, just uh, minimal weight bearing, you know. At first, be a, a lot of a lot of bicycling, a lot of pool, um, a lot of stuff where you're not, you know, really on the on the foot. But, you know, hopefully getting that motion back, so uh, so it won't be any hindrance at all when I get in the car. Uh, Bob Hockris, um, I mean, I know you're a pretty active person. I mean, what have you been, what have you been able to do, and has it just been frustrating? Has life, been, just in general, been frustrating not doing kind of what you used to be doing? Uh, with, without a doubt, I mean it's um, it's been really frustrating. But uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I was in a lot of pain for the first month, so I really just had to, you know, it hurt to be to have the foot down. So I was just watching, you know, watching a lot of NASCAR. So it, uh, for better or for worse, it was it was a it was a good learning experience. And yeah, Mark, uh, or uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Zupan. Um, he was you ever watched the movie Murderball? Uh, he got me a, a hand cycle. So just started on the hand cycle. I actually had surgery on my knuckle as well. So just started to be able to use my hand. But uh, this this last week got on that and been uh, been doing a lot of as much as I can and uh, hopefully as soon as pins come out we'll be able to do a lot more. Other questions for Travis? When you talk about your re I mean do you know like what you will be doing as far as rehab I mean does I mean you talk about getting in the pool I mean will it be mostly swimming or what kind of what will you be doing and for how long per day? Uh, pretty <laughs> I mean I'm sure it'll start out with a you know an hour or two a day and it'll it'll work up from there I mean. Uh, basically, my only job right now is to get that ankle healthy and uh, you know learn a little bit about the car. So we'll be doing physical therapy as much as that ankle will tolerate and as much as it's going to help it without uh, without making it swell too much. So I can't exactly answer that question without knowing how much it's going to swell, but uh, we'll be working hard on it. Just to follow up, so um, will you never be on a bike in the X Games again? Basically, is that pretty much what you're saying? No, I didn't didn't say that. I just uh, will not be on it. Um, definitely will not be on it this next year, and do not plan on being on it for X Games ever. But at the same time, you know, motorcycles is something that I always do for training. I always do, you know, always be riding in the woods. Always be riding. Uh, whether I'll be, um, you know, riding at a competitive level, I sincerely doubt it. Um, but you know, with Red Bull and with uh, a lot of the stunts that they have. You know, in years to come, I'm not going to say that I will never um, do motorcycle stuff again. I mean, it's it's kind of it's who I am, but at the same time, this is my number one priority. And for this next, you know, next year, next two years, um, you know, without a doubt, and what we can reassess then what uh you know what life uh, is going to bring. Other questions? One more from Pocky. Pocky, you should just come up here. Do you do they have like a prognosis for your ankle? I mean, like, will it be a hundred percent, or will it only ever be like eighty percent or sixty percent? It's really hard to put a put a percentage. I mean, my dad has a fused wrist, and it doesn't really uh, doesn't really slow him down at all. I've got um, you know, most of the bones across the top of the foot are fused, but um, you know, your foot really doesn't move that much. So <laughs> I think it'll be you know, the feeling on the bottom of the foot is is a hundred percent. You know, toes work great, everything works good. Ankle joint itself works well. Um, so for driving a car, I will be 100%. Uh, for riding a motorcycle, I might lose a little bit of that um, elasticity in the, the top of the foot. Whether that will affect anything, I doubt it, but uh, you know, we'll work hard to make sure it doesn't. 
Me? Okay. Marty Smith, ESPN. Travis, when you fell the first time, was there ever any moment of hesitation for you to get up and go again when you really got hurt? <laughs> yeah, it was um, one of the – probably the the, wor the best idea at the time, worst decision I made in, in ever pretty much. But, uh, no, the, the thing was with, uh, with the trick, every time the first one out, I would usually overcook. I'd overflip. I'd underspin. Um, it's the same thing I did two years ago. Um, I was 8 for 10 in the foam pit, but usually I would mess up the first one. So when I landed, um, going right again – didn't affect the score at all, but I was pretty sore. And I said, you know what? Let's use this adrenaline. Let's uh, let's do this right away, like we normally do in the foam pit. And we'll stick this next one. I'll have confidence, and I'll go into it, um, you know, for the one that counted, uh, you know, with more confidence than just land on my side again. Uh, unfortunately, I, I I got a little too excited and you know overshot it. So again, it was uh, one of the biggest uh, I guess failures uh, that I've I've experienced. So that was that was very disappointing. Anything else? Travis, thanks for taking the time to come in today. We appreciate it. Best of luck as the recovery continues, and we look forward to seeing you next year.